there's the bowling ball. First shot's going to be a 230 grain full metal jacket from the 45. I'm going to be shooting it from this direction so you can see the entrance and the exit. Got the trusty USP here. Single load. There's the hit. No exit. Not that surprising. Alright, next up, the main event. 556, five, 55 grain full metal jacket. from the AR. It's a 20 inch barrel with a 1 and 8 twist for the record. Same setup as last time, shooting it from this direction. There's the entry for the 556. Ooh, no exit. Wow. There's where the 45 hit it. And there's where the 556 hit it. There's the four entries for the next four AR rounds. Still no exits. It's a hell of a bowling ball. Alright, next up, gonna try an M855 62 grain full metal jacket boat tail with a steel core from the AR. There's the hit for that one. Still no exit. I thought that was it, but that was the one from the 45. So, you think that's it? You think the bowling ball has won? <laughs> oh no. Not quite yet. Last thing. Now, if it can stop this, I'll consider it one hell of a bowling ball. From the 300 Winchester Magnum. 165 grain pointed soft point boat tail. Now if it stops this, it's a hell of a bowling ball. This should be interesting. That's a pretty good result.
I think that's the entry for the 300 Winchester Magnum. And it split it. Still no exit. This bowling ball stopped. 165 grain pointed soft point bump tail bullet traveling over 3,000 feet per second. That's a hell of a bowling ball. Here's a close up. That is the entry for the 300. Good lord. Look down in the finger holes. I don't know if you can see the cracks down in there.